doctor. Be whoever you need to be with Vital. Myth busting is a favorite pastime of ours on the show, and here's a big one to bust that when you're pregnant, you've got to eat for two. Ha ha. Wrong. That's an old wives' tale that could lead to excessive weight gain, which isn't good because when you put on too much weight during pregnancy, you increase your risk of gestational diabetes, backaches, high blood pressure, and needing possibly a C-section birth because your baby is very large. You need a little more than usual, but the focus should not be on quantity but on quality. Would you agree, Andrea? Definitely. You know, if you look at the average intake um, in, in kilojoules, a woman needs between seven and 8,000 kilojoules per day. Okay. During pregnancy, that requirement increases with only about 1,200 to 1,400. Okay, and we've so that's got academic. A, what does that mean this practically? Yeah, yeah. yes. Okay. So that's a fruit yogurt with two small fruits. So that is the in energy equivalent of what you can ingest extra per day. That's not good news, ladies. Hey, that's all. Mm, I wonder about that. No, listen, I've never been pregnant. I'm not planning on becoming pregnant, so I shouldn't be asking the questions. Do we have any questions from the audience about nutrition in pregnancy? No, no. Um, what is the cause of crazy cravings such as craving soil or chalk? What causes that? Good question. Well, cravings in general, people think um, they're caused by nutritional deficiencies, and that's, what, that's not always the case. With pregnancy, hormones play a role, emotions play a role. And yes, it is true. I mean, there's a condition called PICA, where pregnant women crave things like chalk, sand, coal, salt. Crazy. Yes. Yeah. And it's not recommended to eat those items. It's not going to correct any nutritional imbalances. In fact, it may be harmful due to toxins in certain of and these bacteria. And, and bacteria. Yeah, yes. Which is great. Three out of a woman will experience some sort of food craving, which is quite normal and quite natural, often linked to a nutritional need, as you said, Andrea, which is why we should so often supplement. I mean, do you guys supplement? Are there any questions around supplements? Um, my craving is actually the opposite. I've gone totally off uh, red meat and um, with my low iron, that's quite a problem. So if there's anything I can supplement, normal vitamins, just the iron's not enough. Well, um, iron is one of the nutrients um, of which the um, demand increases greatly during pregnancy. And we know that we rely on red meat for iron. Obviously, you find iron in foods like spinach as well. Sure. During pregnancy, the, the increased needs definitely need supplementation. Some people need more. But typically, your multivitamins that are designed for pregnancy will contain the optimal dose of iron. Okay. And if that is not enough for your requirements, then additional iron supplementation can be prescribed by your doctor. And you need more calcium. I mean, look at this, ladies. This is a liter and a half of milk. This is what you're producing when you're breastfeeding on a daily basis. I mean, that's just crazy. Someone, someone expressed a litre and a half of milk for... No, they didn't. This is not breast milk. <laughs> I can see some people going, oh, no, you know, this poor <laughs> yes. just... You know. But, I mean, if you're not supplementing with calcium, you're in trouble. Calcium is such an important nutrient because it's required for the development of the baby's bone tissue. So while you're pregnant and also during breastfeeding, it's crucial to supplement calcium. Um, and if you look at this volume of milk, you can imagine all the nutrients that go in there. So supplementation, not only during pregnancy, but definitely during breastfeeding. Mm. Any final questions? We've got sushi on the table. Anyone have sushi? Is it safe to eat sushi during pregnancy? It's a good question. It's a controversial question. I would say no. Although the chances of getting a parasitic infection from eating sushi are slim, the consequences are severe enough that you wouldn't want to take the risk. And also because pregnancy suppresses your immune system. You're so much more susceptible to serious illnesses from foodborne organisms. So generally, just stay clear. Would you agree? Definitely. But you know, fish is such a valuable source of omega-3 fatty acids. And another um, fish item that we need to be cautious with is tinned fish. Because if that fish lived in polluted waters, there may be levels of mercury in there that can be harmful to the baby's development. So that leaves us with supplements to really optimize our intake of the valuable omega-3 fatty acids for the baby's brain development. Must take and it is safe. So at the end of the day, bottom line really is quality over quantity when it comes to nutrition in pregnancy. Coming up, all you need to know about going into labor and whether you should go natural or have a Caesar. I wonder about that. Be whoever you need to be with Vital. I want to live the best life. 